In my previous video I machined the front face of the driving wheels. Off camera I've gone ahead and machined the back face. The next operation is to taper the wheel recess on both sides which will form the taper on the spokes. So I'm going to taper this face now. So I'll taper so that it's thinner on the outside and thicker on the inside. So I've set the tool up so that it's touching on the outside and by the time I wind it to the inside there's a 1.3mm gap. So I'm putting a 1.3mm taper on the face. So it's a high speed steel tool, I've put a little radius on the end and we'll just need to take it easy, I'm feeding by hand so we're not going to get a great surface finish I wouldn't think but we'll do our best so I'll need to position the tool to get in the corner first ok we're clear Switch on. Not too bad. Okay, we'll reposition the tool again into this corner here. Okay, touch on again. Okay, not too bad. So looking at the photographs, you can see that the spokes are recessed between the two ends. 
and then radius along the length. So at this stage I'm going to machine a recess in this face. So once the spokes have been machined I'll have that recessed portion on the spoke which I can then radius with a file. So first of all I'm going to uh, just put a witness mark on the extent of my machining. So that's in line with the edge of the spigot so I'm going to come back um, 7 millimeters. So I'm going to go past and forward again to take up the backlash in my uh, lead screw. I'm going to just put a mark on there. Okay. Come back. On this end I'm going to go in 5.5 millimeters. Okay. That's it, done. And that's a lovely finish. Do both sides. And I'll just finish those off. Going back to looking at a photograph of the engine in the Liverpool Museum. There's a kind of a bridging plate that goes across the bottom of the uh, horn plates. These are relatively thin, so I'm going to make these one millimeter thick. I'm actually going to make them from a high carbon steel. And I've got this bit of plate, um, which is hardened and timbered. I don't know, maybe it's a spring steel, I'm not sure. or just under 8 millimeters, 5 sixteenths wide to fit between the frame horn plates so I've just got a couple of bits of mild steel bar here which I use as a filing guide so it's quite well used, this could do probably with a skim up on the milling machine but anyway, all I do is stick that in there line up to the scribe line about there and grip it in the vise Give it a file. Okay, see what it's like. Seven point eight. 7.9 That's good enough Take the sharp edges off So this is a little uh, drilling jig that I made when I drilled the ends of these rods So obviously this plate has got to fit into here so 
I'm just going to glue that onto there. It's perfect. So all we need now is some square uh, 9BA nuts. So I need to tap this 9B here, which is about 1.7mm diameter. So obviously we've got to keep this tap perfectly lined up with the hole, otherwise we'll probably break it. So I've just made a little tool that I've drilled to fit the bar and to fit the tap. So that just helps get the alignment right. Seems to be the bottom of the hole. Okay. Just need to mill that square now.
If you would like to follow this series, Building the Lion, please like and subscribe. See you next time.